Hey everybody, Jess here with Key Tarot. I'm going to do a reading for our Twin Flame Collective. It might be your story today, it might not be. Let us just say a quick blessing and we'll see what comes out, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you so much for being with us here today and in every breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them, amen. All right, we're gonna start off with this Star Power Tarot for kicks. Let's see what we have going on out there for you guys. All right, let's read a little bit for Divine Masculine first. What is on their mind this week? We got the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Darn it all. All righty. So uh, the Seven of Swords in the reverse is somebody who's, um, things have finally kind of caught up with this Divine Masculine. The Seven of Swords in the reverse is someone who is having to acknowledge some pretty difficult truths about themselves or about someone that they're with or about a situation in their life. Pick one, whatever. Seven of Swords is kind of known for being someone who's very deceitful, someone who's always trying to get away with things. Specific to this Star Power Tarot though, um, this is, I, I hate even showing it on camera because it's such a gnarly picture, but um, it's, it reminds me of like toxic narcissism, you know, like where somebody who's, who was believing their own, their own mistruths for a long time. They were, they were really invested in them and now something's happened and they can't do it anymore. The truth's either caught up with them or some other words have, I have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who wishes that they had done things differently in the past. Um, they're wishing that they hadn't made the same, the choices that they have. Yikes. Um, and I have the Ten of Swords that comes out with that. The Ten of Swords is the minor arcana of the death card for me. This is somebody who is experiencing an ending, a three-dimensional ending in their life. This could have been an on-again, off-again relationship, but this is kind of like the final nail in the coffin. That Knight of Pentacles, whenever they come out in the reverse, is somebody who maybe didn't plan for this. They didn't plan for this to happen. They didn't know this was all going to fall apart like this. Okie dokie. I have the Nine of Cups. Um, Nine of Cups coming out on its side. This is somebody who has to look towards the future now in a way that they hadn't expected to. And and despite the fact that we've got all this fallout, and this really does feel like it's something that's kind of happening in real time right now, like uh, today or this week kind of, um, there's the understanding that they're onto something better. There's the understanding that things are about to improve. It's just not easy to get there. It's not easy to get through that, right? That's the energy of the death card, right? Uh, which, this isn't the death card, but it's like the minor arcana of the death card for me. It's like the Julius Caesar card, right? It's like that we've given it every chance that we could give it, and now we gotta give up. Um, this, the energy of the death energy is, is difficult and painful change that's necessary for transformation, right? And I was saying earlier today in another reading or maybe to somebody else that, um, you know, this is one of the ways that the world makes us uncomfortable enough to make a, a change in our lives, right? I've got the six of wands in the reverse. This person may not, um, they may be moving house or something like that. This is the six of wands. It, it's someone who feels like they can't win in a situation. This can be somebody who doesn't know where home is anymore. Uh, and now I have the seven of pentacles that comes out on its side. This is somebody who says, I wish I hadn't waited so long. All right, I'm gonna get a couple more out with this deck and then I'm gonna clarify. I got the Knight of Swords in the reverse. This person's put their foot in their mouth. They may have said some things in the past um, that they're gonna have trouble clearing up or fixing. I got the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Man, this is doom and gloom for the masculines. What the heck has happened here? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody, again, didn't plan for the future, wasn't expecting this to happen. This It's not really doom and gloom, but we're at the, some kind of transitionary point for whoever this masculine collective is right here. Um, this, is, this would be a group of people who um, are experiencing a major fallout in their life. Could be divorce, ending of a relationship. This could be a separation from someone or something that they had kind of expected to be be a major part of their future. All of a sudden, this is kind of ripped out from under them. And while we understand that things are better, things will be better in the future, right now we're having a big old mess we gotta clean up here. This Ace of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody who has to admit to themselves that they have really screwed the pooch here, you know? <sighs> 
yikes. And with that Knight of Swords in the reverse, this is somebody who acted impulsively. They said something impulsively and now we got a problem. And we gotta have we're gonna have to pick up the pieces here. Now what I'm gonna use this deviant moon to clarify for this masculine collective. I got the justice in the reverse. This is probably a divorce situation that we're looking at here. The justice in the reverse. Justice is the card of Libra. However, and you got Aquarius, Libra, Gemini with that Knight of Swords on there. You got Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn with that Knight of Pentacles. And that's all I see on the board. But don't get hung up on the zodiac signs. You know it's not about that. It's about what the card means and the energy that it carries, right? Um, I only call out the zodiac signs in case they are of significance to you, all right? But this justice card being the card of Libra, but it also represents legal matters whenever we have it come out in the reverse. This is um, a good indication of paperwork being filed, but not necessarily for a happy occasion. It can be divorced for sure, especially when combined on top of that um, Ten of Swords right there. Oh, boy. I got the Death card, right? Very good. Okay. And I got the Ace of Pentacles in the upright position now. Okay, so hold on one second. So remember how I was saying this Ten of, Ten of Swords is like the minor arcana of the Death card for me. Well, here we have it in in real life with the Death card. Okay, so Death is the card of Scorpio, but it's about like exactly what I said. It's painful transformation that is necessary, right? Painful change that is necessary for growth. And I think that this masculine collective understands that, but man, now they're having to eat some of their words somehow. And, but here's the thing. We have the Ace of Pentacles that comes out in the upright position. So this is important for you, whoever you are masculine. We had it in the reverse initially over here from the Star Power Tarot. And I said that this was somebody who didn't plan for the future, but now they are. Now that we've had this Band-Aid ripped off, which I always think of the Ten of Swords right here, um, which is something painful. It's something that happens. It's kind of a dramatic, drastic ending to something. Um, now that we've had that happen, now we can rebuild. I like this. And actually this uh, masculine collective, they have a good attitude about this. I was saying this is real doom and gloom, um, and it might be right now, <laughs> but there is also in the back of this masculine's mind, they are understanding that things are going to improve and that they can move on towards something that's much more authentic to themselves. Very good with that Ace of Pentacles. Alrighty, let's see how the feminine collectives do it. I'm going to grab this Star Power Tarot again, see how the feminines are doing this week. Oh. Oh, wow. So we got the Empress out for the Feminines, which is great. The, the Empress is the card of Virgo, but it is the card of Divine Feminine. So way to go and show up for yourselves. Nicely done. Oh, you're like the star student today, Divine Feminine. I like it. So this Empress card is somebody who's working on building a future for themselves. They could have started their own business. They're, they're working on creating an empire they're, or they're running an empire. We have the Three of Cups here. This um, comes out on its side. This is somebody who's looking forward to a reconciliation of some sort. This Feminine knows that this masculine, well, now you do, right? If you're watching the reading, knows that this masculine is going through this and there's something, um, I feel like they're, ex I think they're expecting some kind of impending um, reunion. Now I have the Eight of Cups here that's coming out for the feminines also. This feminine collective knows that in order to reunite with this masculine energy, they're going to have to leave some things behind. Some things that have been working well for them for a while, but they know, they've always known they were going to have to let go of this person, this place, this thing, whatever, um, if they were going to reunite with this masculine. I got the devil in reverse. Yep, there it is, right? Devil in reverse is letting go of toxicities. And look at this representation of the Eight of Cups right here. You know, it's she's smoking and, and at the time it seems like it's exactly what she wants. It's exactly what she wants to do with herself and her time and her energy. But really and truly when she steps back and looks at it, it's not doing any good for her. The same thing is that energy of the devil. Um, when we have it in the reverse, there's acknowledgement that there are some things they have to let go of. There are gonna be some things they have to change. Could be bad habits within themselves. This could be another relationship. And it feels like this um, empress, this um, feminine energy kind of knows that. And they've had this in the back of their mind for a while. It looks like it's time. I got the three of wands in the reverse. This empress, you got a bunch of threes. You got the three of cups. You've got the three of wands. And the empress is the number three. Three, three, three is a focus on stability. It's a focus on stability and pulling partnership into your life. This three of wands in the reverse is somebody who says, yeah, but once I let go of this, I'm not really sure what the future is going to hold. 
and I got the world in the reverse that comes out for the feminines, that means I got to be real with you. If I'm being quite honest, it sort of feels like they're holding on to someone, something, someplace a little bit longer than they should. There's the understanding that they're going to have to let somebody go here, probably a karmic partner or something like that. Um, karmic situation. And they've kind of been holding on to it a little bit longer than maybe they should have. And they know that. But the world card is the final card in the deck of Tarot, right? So once we get this, we know that we have to end something in order for us to start back around to start the cycle with the number zero card which is the fool so i'm just going to turn the world into the upright position for you how about that feminines because you know it's time right and i've got the hermit card that comes out here this is somebody who understands um there's going to be a time of isolation coming up in their lives and once they let go of this karmic partner or karmic situation it's going to drive them within to be alone as it's in a state of isolation taking themselves away from the rest of the world um and a lot of people complain whenever they get the hermit card. They're like, oh, no, I don't like the hermit card. I don't like to be alone. I don't want to be alone. But there's the understanding that when, when you embrace this hermit energy, you're not really alone. What you're doing is you're communi communing with your higher self and a higher power. Um, and that's the purpose of this self-isolation. But it's not always comfortable for everyone. I'm highly introverted, so I like it, but you may not feel that way. All right, let me grab this Deviant Moon Tarot to clarify a little bit further for the feminines. What is this Eight of Cups in the Reverse Devil in the Reverse energy about? Got the Six of Cups here. This is about soulmate relationship. And I got the Tower. Yep, yes, we do. All righty. So there's kind of this... I have a feeling that there's an ending that's coming up for the feminine. It has to do with a soulmate relationship, a karmic soulmate relationship, most likely. It's somebody that you've enjoyed, somebody that you could see yourself staying with for a long time, but something's about to change here because of the tower energy. It's going to um, change the direction of where you were headed, basically. <sighs> it feels kind of impending. And I have the nine of wands. Oh, man. Very interesting because um, the Hermit is the is the number nine card here, and they are both energies of um, self isolation, specific to this um, Deviant Moon Tarot over here. This little guy, he always looks so so mopey and so sad to be alone. You know, I think this feminine may be experiencing this now. You could have just recently broken up with a karmic soulmate or karmic partner in some way, someone that you've maybe intended to to grow old with. You know. Um, and you learned a lot from this relationship and this experience. However, it looks like we've had a moment that's shifted that reality with that tower card. Now, let me get out another deck here and let's see where we're kind of headed for our divine feminine, divine masculines together. Because we, I feel like we have two individuals here within this collective who are actively ending karmic relationships. Uh, it feels like the masculines um, are ending a commitment that had gone on longer for them. Someone that they had really invested a huge portion of themselves and a huge portion of their lives into this feminine. It feels, uh, I mean, it could have been the same way for this feminine because I got the Six of Cups over here for that. But it, um, we have two people who are ultimately moving through some relationships that they know they have to. Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. All right, so there is this energy of wanting stability. And the Wheel of Fortune comes out with it in the reverse. Uh, when we have the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, this can feel like bad karma, bad timing, something like that. Something that throws the situation off. This Queen of Pentacles is somebody who wants to to grow something with another person and it feels like both of these individuals both the masculine and the feminine are releasing relationships that were not doing that for them and oftentimes this will happen because in order to free up space for this divine feminine divine masculine union to happen we do have to let go of a lot of things in our lives and we have to learn a lot in our lives in order to vibrate at the frequency that is necessary uh, for these twin flame relationships to take place now this wheel of fortune though it should be about being in the flow you know like the cosmic flow of life when everything's kind of balanced and humming and everything's moving real nice and smoothly it hasn't been for a while and now we're dealing with like you know some kind of chunky moments some muddy waters 
but we have the three of wands that comes up. The three of wands is the minor arcana of the magician for me. This is somebody who says, I know it's on its way. I know they're on their way. I know the timing is about to change. There's this energy of understanding that change is on, on the way. I have the two of pentacles here. This is all about being back in the flow. This is about learning how to um, kind of harness your own karmic wave, so to speak. This two of pentacles is things coming back into balance and things coming back into, um, I'm hearing like, into a space of grace. A place of grace, maybe. the Ten of Swords out again, and I got the Queen of Cups. There's someone here who says, I need to finish up some things, and then I'm ready to move forward. This um, Ten of Swords go, comes right out with this Queen of Cups in the upright, and it's the second time out for the Ten of Swords, right? It's like closing out final chapters in order to move forward because you can't give your heart to someone if you don't have a heart to give. Right now, it feels like someone who's really gone through a lot and they're currently going through a lot. They're going through, both of these individuals are going through major endings in their lives. And it's so that they can free up space to be emotionally available to their person, their divine counterpart here. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got a lot of threes here. So you may be seeing three, three, three. Um, three of Pentacles in the reverse is, again, someone who's maybe having to move on from a work situation, maybe having to move because of a work situation. Three of Pentacles in the reverse is someone who hasn't been a team player in the past. And I have the Eight of Pentacles, definitely a workplace situation, and I have the Death card that came out with that right on top of the Death card. We're just going to be getting repeat cards out here from now on, probably. Um, but the Death card out here twice, again, the energy of Scorpio. These are major endings in the the both of these individuals lives there could be a, that somebody's really putting their nose to the grindstone with this three of pentacles and this eight of pentacles we could indeed have somebody moving for work one of the karmic partners may be moving because of work there could be an ending because of that and i have the page of cups we have somebody here who's about to reach out with um, a message of kindness, love, flirtation, um, apology, forgiveness, something like that. The pages are messengers, uh, but they do represent a message coming through, right? Message of love with that page of cups. And we have the three of swords, another three. Um, but this is the understanding that um, there is a final ending here. This is three of the swords is a, is a breakup energy. It's heartache, grief, and pain, right? I always call it the Ben and Jerry's card of the deck, right? So we, once we get through these breakups, then what? Man. <sighs> Hold on. All right, we have forward movement here, but here's the thing. There has to be acknowledgement of where things weren't right, where things weren't fair, where things weren't balanced, and why between these people and their um, relationships here, that they're ending here. And then we have the chariot card, which is all about forward movement, can be a physical move. It's the card of cancer. This can be, or it's at the very least, emotional, spiritual moving on in a situation. It's very forward driven motion. And where does that leave these two folks? We got the high priestess and we got the judgment card on the other side. High Priestess is someone who has an inner knowing. They know how this is going to go um, already. I feel like both of these people are kind of embodying that. Um, hang on. Nine of Pentacles. There's a real strong sense of independence here. There's somebody who's cutting away toxicities of any kind. And I got the Strength card out here. 
This is good. The strength card is the card of Leo, but this is someone who's having to be strong in a time of darkness, in a time of, um, you know, scary, scary. You know, if it's not scary, there's no reason to be brave. Looks like things have been a little dark for these individuals. Um, I have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, and I got the Hanged Man in the reverse. As far as these two go together, there's someone here who's waiting to see that someone is free. There's someone here who's waiting for the other person to reach out. Both of these people are refusing to talk to one another, probably because they're in the midst of other relationships that are currently nose diving right um but there's they're busy they're busy dealing with their own issues here but they are also not talking because they're waiting on one another to reach out with the six of pentacles again in the reverse there's that having to learn where things haven't been balanced or fair in their in each one of their lives previously so that they don't make the same mistakes in the future and that's a pretty tough road to hoe right that's a lot of information that has to be gained a lot of healing that has to be done and I got the Three of Swords out again. Three of Swords in the reverse. Um, got a lot of repeat cards out here, kiddos. That's good. I like it when you give me the repeats because that tells me these are important energies to your story, if this is in fact your story. This Three of Swords that comes out, and again, indicates a breakup and a painful one at that. However, when we get the Three of Swords in the reverse, this can indicate someone who's already started the healing process from this. And we have the three of pentacles again, another three. You got a lot of threes here, kiddos. You got a lot of threes, you got a lot of nines, you got a lot of sixes. Um, but the three of pentacles is somebody who's ready to come back together. This is an energy of maybe bringing a family back together. This can be an energy of being on the same team again. Um, being a team player, this can be an energy of wanting to work together in some way again. And there's this energy of understanding that you belong with one another with this three of, of pentacles nice looks good but man it's tough getting there right I get the king of swords in the reverse there are people who aren't talking still And I got the Wheel of Fortune out again. Good job. All right, so now we have a, a time of change. We're going to go from a time of no communication to a time of tremendous amounts of communication. It's about to happen. We're just waiting to clean up these cycles, waiting to clean up these other relationships, that sort of thing. I hate saying it like that, but it's kind of how it lays out here like this. There's a lot of endings here, a lot of breakups here. You got the Death card out twice. You got the Ten of Swords out there twice. You got the Three of Swords out here twice. Um, like, that's a lot. It's a lot of endings, right? And we got the World card out there that's a final ending for our feminines and these masculines have been working hard to get through it all all righty that was your reading for this week i will catch up with you guys next week good luck good fortune to you and i will see you later